what's going on traders it's ricky with tech solutions so just in the recap on today's trades do want to give a shout out to all the members that were able to participate in today's trading let's see if this page loads uh, but let me go ahead and just do a quick recap on the different stocks that we ended up trading today uh, overall the morning was very active like always um, we have two different group chats uh, that i was using today which was the technical analysis feed and the tech solutions regular chat there is also a pre-market mover uh, that's pretty helpful for those that are within TechBit Solutions. The link is provided for you once you get accepted to the Facebook platform. All the links to the group chats are actually provided for you right here. Um, so just depending on what it is that you want to join, you know, feel, f feel free or feel more than welcome to join. Uh, the link is provided for you down below if you guys want to join TechBit Solutions. It is a free group. But let's go ahead and get started. So ended up holding JNUG overnight. Um, JNUG ended up hitting lows of about 620 Um overnight right so during aftermarket hours and pre-market hours it identified 620 as a support um, really we had a real uh, really strong resistance at 650 and that was the plan to actually sell at 650 but we saw that the volume um, all of a sudden had a huge increase and then ended up breaking right over the 650 resistance and then ended up touching highs of 670. I ended up stop lossing out at 660, meaning that when it went above 660 I set my stop loss locked in the profits um, and this was a in a sense um, a trade that I ended up buying in yesterday, sold today. I was able to bring in a $211 with this single trade. Overall, um, the second trade that I ended up doing today was actually with um, CE uh, or CIE. And let's see if I can pull that up. All right, so my trade with CIE ended up buying in at that dip at 51 cents. I got the alert when um, I saw the support that it was at 52 cents based on you know uh, this two-day analysis. I set my alert and I set a limit order at 51, not actually thinking that it was gonna you know get filled. Uh, but CIE has been showing signs of upward momentum, especially if you use the um, you can simply go to indicators, uh, go to EMA, and exponential moving average will show you in a sense kind of um, upward momentum, right? Um, and it's been showing steady growth if you do like a five-day analysis it's been showing an upward trend um, and that's ideally what you want to see especially with these true penny stocks can you know obviously you still want to buy it at the low point since you don't want, don't want to hold overnight uh, but now it's actually trading a little bit over 54 cents uh, which is really great for the team since the exposure uh, that I kind of um, laid out for them I knew there was a resistance a really strong resistance right around that 55 cents ended up selling at 53 um, 53 5 so I guess a little early um, it was right above the EMA line um, I guess it should have held a little bit longer but I really didn't want to stop loss out and it was kind of um, holding very well at that 52 support um, so just got my alert that TOPS went below 110 and I'm actually in that so I just stopped lost that but overall um, I locked in a little bit over $147 with CIE and I probably lost right now about 10 to $20 um, with TOPS um, yeah I probably filled um, but yeah, TOPS was another one that we we're following. Has a support at 105 resistance at 112. Wasn't able to break that 112 resistance, but we did call it after it breaks above 110. Since that was a resistance, this was the one that follows. Uh, then the one after 112 is 115, and then 120. Um, so those are just kind of just uh, some support and resistance levels that you guys can identify for yourself as well. Um, but overall, definitely a profitable day. Um, I'm up $358. That is, again, without my loss that I just took on TOPS. So I'm probably up like $360. Uh, $340 worth of profit um, and that is it that's you know today's recap um, again we did suggest for, because it is the weekend to not hold any penny stock overnight because of just different news that can happen over the weekend uh, but again you guys are more than welcome to do whatever it is that you guys would want um, if you guys would like to join again TechBit Solutions the link is provided for you down below um, and then you know you guys can join all our group chat platforms um, if you guys can like and subscribe if you guys found this video helpful you know we'd greatly appreciate it. i hope you guys enjoy you know the rest of your week um and we'll see you guys during our sunday stock talk um take care guys